Hi all, welcome to the session. This is VC from VC's Academy. So what is our concept for today? Uh, our concept is Osmosis by Root Hairs. So what is Osmosis by Root Hairs? We will see here the experiment activity. Uh, roots have small hair like structures called root hairs. So the small hair like structures which are observed on the roots are called as root hairs. They originate from cells of single layer epidermis. So from where they are originated? They originated from cells of single layer epidermis. The cytoplasm of the cells in the root hairs is called as cell sap and it has dissolved with salts so the cytoplasm of the cells in the root hairs is called as cell sap and what is cell sap contains the cell sap contains salts which are dissolved in it the cell sap of root hairs is more concentrated than that of the concentration of salt solution present in the soil The cell membrane of root hair acts as semi-permeable membrane. So, what is semi-permeable membrane and all we have learned in the previous classes. So, cell membrane of the root hair acts as semi-permeable membrane which allows only certain particles to pass through it. It separates the cell sap from the salt solution of the soil. So, what separates the cell sap from the salt solution of soil? is cell membrane of the root hair therefore the water passes into the vacuole of the root hair by osmosis so as a separation of cell sap from the soil and this results in the passage of water into the vacuole of the root hair by osmosis Therefore, and as I have mentioned, the water passes into the vacuole of the root hair by osmosis. And entry of water dilutes the contents of root hair vacuole and it becomes more diluted than its neighboring cells. So, as the water enters into the root hair vacuole, it dilutes the contents of the root hair and becomes more diluted than its neighboring cells. Water passes into the neighboring cells, which in turn becomes diluted, and finally, water enters the xylem vessels. As the each of the cell of the root hairs is becoming diluted and the cell sap is becoming diluted, the water content which is absorbed from the soil through osmosis is being passed from one cell to the another cell, and finally, it reaches to the xylem vessels. A pressure in the xylem vessels develops force which sends the water upwards. As these cells are bringing up the water one by one to the xylem vessels, there the pressure is increased more and it develops a force which push-ups or pulls the water upwards. <laughs>